approve. Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to unlock this iPhone 7. How can we know this iPhone is locked? This iPhone is locked to AT&T. If I put a SIM card from another carrier, for example, Mint Mobile, you know Mint Mobile use the T-Mobile network. So we're going to put it here and let's see what happens. Activation required. Dismiss. We need to connect to a network, okay? And it says SIM not supported. I'm going to try it again. SIM not supported. You will get this message if you have an iPhone that is locked and you're trying to use a SIM card of a company that is not supported. And we're going to take this out. So that's the first confirmation that the iPhone is locked. The second one is if you go to settings, general, about, you'll see here carrier lock, SIM lock. This device may be restricted to the original carrier and or have certain capabilities limited. Contact your provider for more inf. That's another confirmation. Okay, SIM lock. So how can we unlock this iPhone? We are going to try to unlock this iPhone using the AT&T unlock portal. The first thing we need to do is we need to find out the IMEI number. Go to settings, general, about, and here you can find the IMEI number. Click and copy. Then you're going to open your favorite browser. You're going to type AT&T Unlock. And you see the first result is AT&T.com Device Unlock. I'm going to put a link on the description so you don't have to search for this. But click there. And this is the AT&T Unlock portal. And then you're going to click Submit and Unlock Request. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? I'm going to select No. IMEI number. I'm going to click and paste. And look at this, guys. This device is already unlocked, they say. But that's not true. And this is the other thing. I cannot click next. Okay. So they say it's already unlocked. What happened if I go to carrier lock, still a SIM lock? Maybe if we put the SIM card from Min Mobile, this time it will connect to the network and unlock it. I don't know. I mean, that never happens to me, but let's see. Activation require. Continue. It may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. SIM not supported, you see? So pretty much, guys, they are lying to me. The portal says that it's unlocked, but here it says that it's locked. And now look at this message. You try to unlock your device too many times. Please try again 24 hours. Okay, I do have another device here. Let me show you. That is another device and not the same device. This device, we're going to try to unlock this one now. First, let me show you that this device is also unlocked to AT&T. Activation require. Continue. I'm going to choose a uh, Wi-Fi. SIM not supported. SIM not supported. Okay. So this one is also locked. Okay. So let's try with this one, right? We're going to go to settings, general, about. I'm going to copy the IMEI number. I'm going to open a browser. And I'm going to type AT&T Unlock. And this is the website you need to click. AT&T.com Device Unlock. Okay. Here, you're going to click on Submit and Unlock Request. Do you have a mobile number from AT&T? No. And the IMEI number. I'm going to click and paste it. And now it's giving me the model. It's giving me the model. On, on the other phone, it didn't give me anything. So, but... Okay, and now I have the next button. You see, it's different. Now it's allowing me to put my name, last name, mobile number. You don't need to put anything. Email address, the most important part, because here's where you're going to get your code. So amigo alex at gmail.com. All right, guys, so I'm going to submit it. Figure cross, I'm going to submit it. I hope they will approve it, but we never know. It says, thanks, we got your request. What I'm going to do is I'm going to log into my email account because I need to confirm my request. And look at this, 8.23 a.m., AT&T order status. So I'm going to click there, confirm your device, unlock requests. You see this link that says confirm your request? Click there. And it says thanks for confirming. What I like to do, guys, is I want to go back to my Gmail, which is here, and I like to click on check the status. It says pending. That's perfect. 
pending means that they need more time to confirm that this phone qualifies for the free unlock, all right? Then I like to wait like one or two minutes, and then I'd like to go back to the email I got, and I would like to click again on check the status. Approve. Current status, approve. We approve your request to unlock your device. Here are the instructions to complete your unlock. Basically guys, once they approve it, you just need to put a SIM card from another carrier. If you don't have a SIM card from another carrier, you're gonna have to back up your iPhone. When you have a backup, erase your iPhone and then restore your iPhone from that backup, okay? But chances are, if you want this phone unlocked, it's because you want to use it with another company and that's why you will have another SIM card, all right? So let me do something really quick. I want to see if now we can see that SIM lock. We don't see that SIM lock no more. Remember what happened when we put the Mint Mobile SIM card before? We got SIM not supported, right? Let's see what we get now. Look at this. Mint. Look at this, guys. And now we can see this. Carrier lock, no SIM restrictions. You see, we didn't see this before, but now we are seeing it. Carrier lock, no SIM restrictions. That means this iPhone is unlocked. And how can you know? Because you can see the main signal here. And also you can do like a 611. It looks like you were trying to make a call, but your plan has expired and needs to be renewed. To make a payment and renew your plan, press 1. But that's Mint Mobile. That means that my SIM card, I don't have a plan with Mint. I just show you that it's contacting the Mint Fox, the Mint servers. And you can see this here also, right? Carrier Ultra Mint Mobile, right? And you can see it right here, Mint LTE. All right, guys, so this was a successful unlock. I tried to unlock two iPhones, two iPhone 7. I was successful on one, and the other one, I'm gonna wait till tomorrow. Frequently asked questions. A lot of people are gonna say, this method doesn't work. You shouldn't say that. You should say, my iPhone did not qualify for the free unlock for any reason, because it's blacklisted, because you didn't pay all the payments, because you still the contracts, a lot of reasons, okay? That's the first thing. The second thing, is there any other carrier that offers a website to unlock their devices? The answer is no, that I know. So far, I only know AT&T provides this unlock website for free, but T-Mobile does not do that, or Verizon, they don't do that. But I would recommend you to call them and ask them to unlock your device, you know? You never know if they're gonna do it or not. If you have any questions, guys, don't forget to put it in the comments. Please don't forget to subscribe because that's the best way you support my channel. If you support my channel, I'm going to be able to continue doing videos for you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care.